this segment of the AI show, Cool Libraries. All right, Siraj, I thought you would introduce yourself. Tell us who you are and what you do, my friend. Sure. Uh, my name is Suraj Subramanian. I am working at PyTorch as a developer advocate. And that means I speak to other developers who use PyTorch for their deep learning journey. And I like to try to understand what they're using PyTorch for and see how I can make that a little easier. Fantastic. So let's start first with what is PyTorch? You give us like a brief overview of what PyTorch is for those that don't know. Yeah, uh, PyTorch is really, it's an open source library that you can use to build and run deep learning models, similar to what you have been using for Rochambeau. Um, if you're familiar with NumPy, um, PyTorch brings all of that scientific computing goodness onto hardware accelerators like GPUs and TPUs and um, you know all of that. That's with, awesome. So why is PyTorch a good library to get started with when it comes to deep learning? There's the primary reason is the API. PyTorch API is really simple, but it's also very powerful. It's Pythonic. So if you're familiar with programming in Python at all, you'll find yourself at home using PyTorch. Um, another really good reason to, to start with PyTorch is because it's easy to debug. So the dynamic nature of PyTorch really allows you to debug your code very easily. You can just plug in print statements uh, just to keep track of um, what's happening in the code. It also helps you understand um, how neural networks work. It, um, it really helped me get a better intuition of uh, what's, what's happening under the hood in, inside a neural network. And that's awesome. So where can people go? Like, if someone's like, I'm totally excited. I have the I have the website just right over here. Uh, where should people go to to get started? By the way, you just had a 1.8 release. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, we just released that yesterday. Wow. See, timely, timely. So timely. let's talk about if people want to get started. What's the best way to learn the basics? Well, to learn the basics, you uh, head to the tutorials tab on the website. Let's go there, right there. And whoa, I mean, it's how, how mind blowing is this? There's ex, there's a section exactly titled that. Learn the basics. What? This is cool. So tell us about this. So um, this is the 101 tutorial to PyTorch that um, said uh, Cassie, Dimitri, and Ari and myself uh, collaborated to build on to build. Um, it's it's a great way to get started with PyTorch because it's a very step by step guide to every single. Uh, every single stage in the ML workflow, in a typical ML workflow. It starts with the very basics, tensors, which are the building blocks of basically everything in PyTorch. And it progresses sequentially into how to get your data prepared and load it into your model. How do you, how do you actually build a neural network? Um, what's actually happening within the neural network when you click or, or when you run backward which you know sets the training loop on, and it's um, and also how do you persist the neural network so that you can load it for later use? I mean, this is this is really cool. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm looking at this and I'm like self-servingly saying this is really cool, right? Because like we helped write it, um, but like the thing that I like about this is it comes at it from the from the sort of developer's perspective. Uh, I look, I, it's, it's really cool, uh, for me to, to look at this. Cause it, like I said, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's fun and it's, I, you could probably get through this. How long do you think it'll take to, for someone to get through to the, uh, through this? Probably, probably I, I, I wouldn't say it takes anything more than an hour, Got it. Uh, even if you run all of the code in this. So it's a really quick way to get started. So who is this for? Like if, if, if. For people that are watching, who, who would you point? Who would do really well with this? Uh, this, I'd say it's 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 for anyone who wants to get familiar with PyTorch. All you really need is some familiarity with Python programming, and a basic intuition of what happens in a neural network. Um, once you have that, it's really easy to relate the concepts in neural network theory or neural network training to the actual code if you follow along this guide. Um, so this, the way the guide is structured is that there's an explanation and then there's a relevant code snippet 
that you can actually run in a Google Colab notebook as well. Mm -hmm. So you can instantly relate what you're reading to the actual code and see what the output is. And I feel like that just solidifies your understanding of what happens in a deep neural network. Absolutely. Like I said, I for me, the quick start that I like the most is it literally is end to end. Like if you know already what's going on, you literally yes. just, here's the code, right? Yeah, this this page is specifically for people who um, are more familiar with deep learning. So for instance, maybe they have used deep learning in other frameworks and they just want to have a quick skim through what PyTorch does and how does it do it? What are the relevant sub modules in PyTorch that do particular tasks? Mm -hmm. So this is a text light code heavy sort of page where you get a whole snapshot of uh, what's happening throughout the ML workflow in PyTorch in just a single web page. And the cool thing is here, like if you look at over here, let me do a little zoom it here. Oh, I need to move my mouse here. There you go. So if you do a little zoom in here, you're going to see like every section that one would need. Like you need to start with data. You need to make a model. You need to construct a model shape. Then you optimize the model parameters and then you got to save it and then you got to use it. And that's literally, I think, I mean, at least my opinion, this is all that needs to be done. This is like the, the whole process in a single nutshell. And you see how to do it with PyTorch every step of the way. And then you can dive in to understand each one of these concepts a little bit more. And that's, that's my favorite part uh, of this. All right. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Siraj. This has been awesome. Uh, for those that don't know, just go to PyTorch.org and learn the basics in the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.